A lot of people been talking about the next generation. Let's reflect back on uh, every on the generations and the stars and their legacies. Let's do LeBron first. LeBron got four titles. I want uh, your, your your opinion, uh, Bonzi and uh, J Mac. Mm -hmm. yeah. LeBron got four titles: 2012, 2013, 2016, and 2020. Uh, he's all-time score of all time. He got so many records that he didn't broke. He's still playing at a high level. Where would you have him at the top of all time? Ooh. I mean, <clears throat> Brown is, you know, Brown is a special player. He's one of my favorite players to ever played. Nice. I really love watching him. I, li I like how he moves in real life. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's, he's a beacon of hope for guys who come in with all that pressure and, and, and you can sustain it throughout your career and not get caught up in nothing. So hats off to Brown. And if I had to rank him in my top, it, it almost goes, I, I hear this conversation all the time and, you know, you got Joe, I, I got Jordan, Kobe, being bronze so it's, mm -hmm. it's one a one b and one c to me yeah because you yeah. know you you know you can't go wrong with neither one of those three and no disrespect to, 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 to the rest of the players who played the game because i really respect them but when you talk about in my opinion i think bron is a, he's a one c guy because i can't put him ahead of kobe and mike because those guys are my size six five six six and they didn't really have no no advantage you know what i'm saying on the court other than skill set you know bron is a big six nine two fifty so he can sometimes over the power of the game and, 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 and score in those ways. But the, the skill set of Mike and Kobe is just, in my opinion, unmatched. What you think, J-Mac? I mean, you got some other people on those lists. You got Steph with four titles, you know, 2015, 17, 18, 22. Kawhi had two titles. Kevin Durant got two titles. But I'm going I'm, I'm to start a petition today. <laughs> Since we're talking about – we start we talking about errors and stack, you're going to feel this one. You might feel it. Right. Um, no freaky. Um, uh, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to talk about Tim Duncan. Ooh. We don't talk about Tim Duncan eras. Ooh. I feel like Tim Duncan and he should be in there twice because he ended a late end. A lot of people didn't win championships because of Tim Duncan yes. and he did it twice in a 10 with a 10 year gap. So if we're going to be talking about eras and lists, you know what I mean? I like to do a petition where we not only acknowledge the Tim Duncan era, but I also like to put a petition out there to be, he should have two different eras because yeah. he did it in, 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 in a 10 years, in a 10 year gap. So, and Tim has so, four or five. He got five. He got five. He got five. Tim's got yeah. five. Yeah. So. <laughs> You know what yeah. I mean? I'm, I'm going to put him up there. But I'm with Bonzi. I love LeBron's body of work, Kobe, Me Jordan. Too. You know what I mean? We acknowledge Kawhi's. You know what I mean? Kawhi had a hell of a run if it wasn't for injuries. You know, at one point, he was tracking towards Mike. Finals MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? All-Star, whatever. You know, going to the finals for a couple of years. So Kawhi was up there. You got to put KD up there because oh, KD I'm made sure. those runs with the with the Warriors. And he's, you know, for the new school, for the new. <laughs> generation but I'm gonna I'm stick with that Timmy petition yeah I'm with I'm with you totally on that I mean after you after you go from Jordan Kobe LeBron I don't think it's a, it's a better player that had more skill that was more talented that had a better mm -hmm. career than Tim Duncan bro I just don't see it I don't mm -hmm. see it yeah mm -hmm. Tim, Tim was a monster it just Tim's game was just so and there's no disrespect to him he had like a a, a basic game like he didn't do yep. nothing like like with flair to it you know it wasn't sexy at all it, it wasn't sexy so everybody wants to be sexy in this game they want to like tim just went and got his job done he put that hard hat on did his job went home didn't say a word and people don't really like you know people who they don't really like that but guys like us who played the game you really appreciate it and people who like yourself stack played with him or played against him you know how tough it was to stop that basic shit like you couldn't he gonna jab she gonna open up jab step you bank shot he gonna, he gonna post you up hook, but just great passer, great team guy, anchor. You know, you go through the hole, you're gonna meet Timmy there, they're gonna force you baseline. Tim is always there. So Tim, the, the shit he did translated for the people who really know basketball, but for the people who's out there who just mm -hmm. wanna be lit and look sweet at the LA fitness or and all that stuff, that they're not gonna be like, Oh, Tim Duncan, I'm doing this Tim Duncan. You know, they, they you're, <laughs> not, you're not you're not hearing that. So but but hats off to Tim Duncan and the Spurs teams, because I know in ninety nine they cost us a championship for sure. Yeah, and 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 that year the Lakers was about to win four after after they had already won three. Yeah. Tim shut that down by damn near by himself, man. I I, I seen him do some uh -huh. great things, and when they, when they, when the coach tell you, take what the game give you, he is yeah. the mascot of that for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, 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 but check this out, uh, J Mac. If I if I if I had if I gave you these four, rank these four: LeBron, Steph, KD, Kawhi. Ooh. 
That's filthy. Why y'all gonna put me? In <laughs> but you know what I mean. And yeah, this could yeah, change yeah. later on. By the time you can, by the time y'all see this, I might have switched this once or twice. But right now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Man, I'm I'm a, I'm with Bonzi. I'm a LeBron guy. I tend to I tend to lead to to the LeBron body of work. I'm sorry. How can you not? How can you yeah, not? I'm a, I'm gonna go LeBron, Steph. And I got to go Kawhi KD because Kawhi did it without Steph and Clay. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he had a hell of a run up in there in Toronto. One of the ones where he was like the main focal guy without two other key big figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I got. LeBron, Steph, Ooh. Kawhi, KD. Who you got, Bonzi? Oh, uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm similar to, to, to J-Mac. I'm going to go LeBron, Steph, but I'm going to move uh, KD. On top of Kawhi, I mean, I, right. and I, and I want to move KD higher because KD is, you know, he's one of my favorite players in the league. He's, he's so unstoppable. He's so yep. unstoppable, and I think KD is really underappreciated as well. You know, people talk about his two titles and he went and got him with Steph and all that shit. But if you look at his body of work, man, this man has averaged twenty six, twenty seven for how many years in a row? 15, 16 years straight. Like people, mm -hmm. people don't understand how tough that is to stay consistent. It's difficult, you know. You know, through injuries and all that stuff, you know, and I know, no, no, I know Kawhi has some injuries, um, injuries as well, but KD is just a, he's a cheat code because he can't affect the shot. He's legit seven foot. He has a, he has a filthy, filthy soft jump shot and he knows how to get to a spot better than anybody I've ever seen in the game other than maybe Chris Paul and, and somebody just getting to their spot and know what it is. So, I mean, I, I would go, like I said, LeBron, Steph, KD. And uh, uh, Kawhi last, and there's no disrespect to any of those guys. No, and no, there isn't. Like I said, your answer could change, and it's no disrespect yeah. to anybody because this is great company to be talking in, interchanging, you know, regardless of the order. Yeah, yep. 100%. 100%. What, what about you, Stack? What's your order? Uh, good question. Definitely the king is first. Um, Steph's by Steph body of work is, is hard to deny mm -hmm. in this group. But it's, mm -hmm. I would still go KD second for just yeah. what he's been doing. He's averaged 25 points or more every year since 2009. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you think about where he is on the scoring list, just imagine if he, if he didn't have those two years of injury where he missed all mm -hmm. that time. That's that's yeah. 2,000, that's 4,000, 5,000 more points. So, and, 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 he, and he already passing up Shaq and everybody else right now. So um, I, I put KD second, then I'll go Steph, just of the respect of being the best shooter ever. And the four mm -hmm. championships, leading that team, making that uh, team a dynasty, and uh, of course Kawhi. Kawhi did some great things, man. I mean that that year, the the two year run he had, but the uh, two uh, Finals MVP, two championships, like that mm -hmm. shit was special. So uh, mm -hmm. I go LeBron, KD, Steph, Kawhi. Ooh. And there's no wrong, yeah, there's no wrong answers here, by the way. It, uh, you know, it's, it's a choose your own adventure and how you like it type thing. 